I rest, all right? Sir, you think the sack will carry me or fly me with like helicopter people? My name is David Murray, and today I have teamed up with the University of Belize because I got some very important news for Delano. Come along with me as I show on the GIS program that you be and show on where this whole thing about because it's a beautiful program. And I want you to tell us something very special today. I want you to educate the public about what the GIS program really is about. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. So the first part of that word, geography, deals with things about where, right? Where things are. That's the very foundation about GIS. And then we're talking about it in a technological sense, um, using IT or computer systems to be able to analyze and look at where things are, uh, understand patterns about where things belong and where things might be. All right, thank you so much for telling us about what GIS is. And now I'd want you to explain to us how relevant is GIS in this 21st century? Well, like I mentioned before, GIS is everywhere. So uh, in the military, in the utilities, in conservation, in the private sector, everybody's using GIS. We're trying to find really location intelligence or use information about where things are located to be able to answer bigger questions, right? What types of relationships exist between different features? So, for instance, you know, we're coming out of the pandemic, you know, the Ministry of Health, they want to know, all right, where can diseases spread? You know, how can we track, how can we map the spread of diseases, right? How we might be able to predict how future diseases might spread, right? Um, in the military intelligence, they need to be very location aware. They need to know where their forces are. They need to know where potential enemies might be. And so being able to map those things or being able to bring those things to a visual uh, representation is very critical. Um, in the conservation in, in industry, um, there's so much going on. We're probably living in one of the most challenging times of conservation. Um, we want to understand how global climate change is going to affect us now and then into the future. Um, so we want to create models that might actually show us um, how temperature might change, for instance. Um, and then, you know, in business and the private sector, uh, we need to have an understanding of our infrastructure, of our, uh, of our assets, right? If you're managing a distribution company, you need to see how your assets are moving so you can best understand to maximize um, how efficiently you can move product from one location to the other, right? Um, where to set up a store if you are going to be opening up a new branch, right? Where are you going to minimize competition or maximize the amount of return you're going to get in your investment. So GIS plays a really critical role. Where is everywhere, right? Every, every single piece of flesh and earth and everything has a weird component to it. So understanding where is, 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 is important to be able to then answer those questions. And I also want for the expectations of the UV graduates of this GIS program, how can it advance their career? How can they build on, the, on what they have already using the GIS program from the University of Belize? Well, um, if you look at career growth um, worldwide, <clears throat> you see that geospatial technologies is one of the fastest growing fields and that includes GIS. Uh, here in Belize, uh, the same is true. You know, you start seeing advertisements coming out right now for uh, opportunities in conservation and across all these industries. They're looking for people who have some background or experience in GIS. So you, as a graduate of this program, you're giving yourself a competitive advantage, right? They're not, actually there are no other GIS programs here in this country. Um, and even in this region, GIS is this is one of the premier programs that you can find. If you look at the content, it's very thorough. You're giving yourself or you're setting yourself up for um, potentially stepping up in your career. Um, again, organizations across the board, they're looking again how they, they can improve their efficiency, how they can have a, a better competitive advantage too, right? So um, they want to advance and, and they're looking for people who will bring skills, skills that deal with technology, into their workplace um, and does help them to advance their own objectives.
from what you're seeing, I do get and understand that this is a lot of technological advancements in this program. So I want you to enlighten us a bit about some of the machinery and the high tech equipment that you will be using in this program. Sure. So uh, uh, first and foremost, you are correct in saying that it's really technologically intensive, right? Um, we try to ensure that our students get exposed to the latest trends and the latest technology that's out there. So that includes using uh, UAVs such as drones uh, to be able to monitor and collect information. Um, we're leveraging the power of smartphones and tablets to actually go out into the field and collect data. You know, most data collection right now is pen and paper. So we're transforming the way that people actually are collecting data in the field. And on top of that, you know, our students get exposed to the, the, the technology that exists beyond the human grasp, right? How do you access technology from satellites, right? Um, how do you learn about um, the latest in programming and, and being able to leverage things such as uh, programming languages to be able to automate processes, right? So some big things that are going on right now are machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence. You know, if, if those are things that excite you, if you are excited by technology, then this program is for you. And I think it's very exciting that you mentioned that it's a lot of technology, but also it seems like it's a lot of application as well. So it's not just the technology, but you're using it to apply. And I also want to, to ask you, what are some of the admission requirements for this program? Okay, um, it is a one year program. Um, the program has 31 credits. Um, it's cost at about 150 per credit hour. Um, with a base fee of about $400. So roughly for that one year, you're paying about a little less than $6,000. Um, on top of that, um, to apply into the program, you need an associate's degree. Um, it can be an associate's degree in any field. Um, like I mentioned before, GIS is applicable across the board, right? So um, if you have an associate's degree and want to pursue the certificate in GIS program, you can definitely apply to this program. If you're pursuing a bachelor's degree and maybe want to take on the added challenge of getting that added competitive advantage then um, you know this is, a, this is a program for you too uh, so uh, we also look at previous experiences so if you've taken courses in GIS if you've taken trainings in GIS you know we can evaluate those and, and determine how they can equate to the content that we have all right guys so this was the GIS program at the University of Belize I want to thank you Mr. Antonio once again for your time and enlightening us a bit more about this program at Belize and what it's about. People, there is the University of Belize's admissions email. If you may have any queries on this, ask for a WhatsApp number somewhere, but it's people because I don't know where they want it. And there's somewhere there. Stay tuned to other videos because we will have more. But thank you once again for joining us on this episode with the GIS program at the University of Belize. Thank you once again.